Okay, so I gotta replace a couple of the landing gear slash training wheels for this thing. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I can make some sort of a, I'm trying to figure out if I can make some sort of landing gear out of the original frame for this <clears throat> and then have it somehow articulate down and out of the way, like a, a two bar linkage here that you could um, pull to extend the, um, extend the gear down. <clears throat> so a two bar linkage pull in, in there will open up the scissors and push a landing gear down so they'll fold up in board of the propellers. I don't know, maybe that's one thing, but then I have to figure out a mechanism at the center because I don't want to um, add any depth underneath the battery here. So I would have to mount a servo here, so that would mean some sort of a linkage to, um, <clears throat> uh, to go around here. So what that probably means is some kind of a circular assembly so that I can, when I move, a, uh, move, this, uh, move the circle, it um, will have a, an eccentric and it'll push out the landing gear um, rod. So that means I guess I'm gonna, or pulls in the landing gear rod to extend it. And I'll have to give a bit of thought to whether it should be pulling in to retract or pushing out to um, extend or vice versa. But um, once I do that, maybe I'll <clears throat> add that to the, to the drone chassis. But for now, just have to replace these landing gear, which I am gonna call training wheels. So that means we've got our training wheels back on and it is flight ready. So maybe do some tests, remind myself how to fly, that kind of thing. Oh, I'll check the electronics too before doing that. But And check all the other fasteners because I'm sure I've uh, been mucking around with it. And uh, yeah, well, GPS testing coming soon. <laughs>